Alright, this video is going to cover the Wago IO Pro CAA programming guide and creating a function block. We're going to be programming a average function and what this is going to do is going to pass an array of values and give you the average or the mean result. And this PDF document you can see steps you through very easily through the uh, creation of this program and we're also going to be covering um, how to create a visualization that allow you to uh, manipulate the variables through a visualization interface. Alright, we're ready to start programming Codasys. Go ahead and click on File, New, and we're going to program a 750-841. On the Visualizations tab, I want to enable Web Visualizations and click OK. And our default PLC PRG is going to be a ladder diagram just want to right click on the white area under POUs and I'm going to add an object. It's going to be a function. Type integer. We'll program that in structure text. Then name that average. At this point we can start programming our function. As you start entering your code, you'll notice it'll um, ask you to declare your variables. Um, variable num is actually an input variable that we're going to pass into our function, and it is an integer. And next, we're going to do our for loop. Just going to count our the contents of our array. Index is a local variable. It's an integer. Sum is also a local variable, and it's an integer. And the values is actually a variable input. And this is going to be an array. Of integers. So again, this is just going to um, create a loop. And the loop will basically operate from 1 to whatever the value of num is. So for however many variables that we'd like to average. And each time it runs through this, um, it's going to increment sum based on the, uh, it's going to totalize the contents of all of the um, containers that are included in this array. At this point we have a sum total of all of the ver values that we've sent into this function block. And now we can uh, create an average based on that. So the average is the sum divided by the number of elements. Notice average is not shown up here um, as a variable. It's actually the return uh, variable for our function. We can set up an else statement. And we're just going to return a minus 1 if our num is 0. And put a comment here. Alright, that's our function. Go back to our PLC PRG. Set up an array for our example here. 100 elements of integers. And set up a a variable to accept our mean. And at this point we can insert a box. We're going to change this to our average. And you can see here it populated the uh, inputs that we're looking for. So our values are tied to 
my values. And for num, I'm just going to put a constant here, 5. And we'll tie this to mean. And again, for all these, we can use the input assistant. Um, if we didn't remember that we had mean there, you can press F2 and go to the input assistant and select the variable that you're looking for. All right, at this point, we can go to the visualizations tab. And we'll create a new visualization. And we'll call that uh, average. I'm just going to select the uh, square input box and we're going to go to text and I'm going to type in value percent %s and this percent little s is a uh, identifies a, imp, a variable uh, display so go to variables and text display and you can see here, when you, as soon as you type in plc underscore prg period, it'll prompt you with uh, the inputs to uh, display here. I'm going to select my values, and I'm going to use the brackets to indicate the first uh, input, that variable, and now I'm just going to cut and paste this a few times. going in each, each one of these and change the array reference. Alright, and the final box You can also you can change the colors on these objects um, if you want to. It's totally up to you. All right, at this point we're going to build the project. We have no errors and no warnings. We can go into simulation mode and log in. And I just want to enter some numbers here. And we're going to run the processor. And here you can see our average is being displayed, average of 4. And I can change these numbers, and it automatically will update the result.